everyone and welcome to August and um, before I start I just want to say thank you very much to all the new subscribers and um, all the lovely people who have commented and liked videos and shared them. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. This is quite a new thing for me to be doing, so it's quite small um, at the moment. So I really appreciated that extra boost to begin with. So, um, and I know that some of you are hoping to get readings, so I'm gonna do the draw to get do the free readings thing to see who wins um, in just a minute. Uh, but I just want to say I might not be doing this again immediately, but I am thinking of doing it quite regularly. So we'll see when I get around to doing it again. But um, thank you so much for taking part and please keep commenting and liking and, and um, participating because it all helps and it just keeps that nice flow of reciprocity going, you know, give and take, which is really, really lovely with these things. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to just go straight into this now and just let you know that I had a look at the videos and if you weren't expecting or hoping for reading, you can go past this bit. So the sign that, did, uh, that gave the most likes was Virgo and the sign that gave the most comments was Libra. So I've picked, I uh, had a look under the videos and there was only one person who asked for a reading under the Virgo uh, video and that's Tara Mills. So there's, you know, it's just you Tara and you've won a reading. So contact me please using, uh, you can use the link under the video and then go to my website and use the contacts page there. And um, so we've got Libras. I've picked the names of the people who asked for readings from Libra. And I'm going to just pick one of those. You can see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, Spirit, you guide me. Okay, here. Right. So we've got, I knew it was going to be that one. That's right. It's Sawenika Reed. Okay, so Sawenika, can you please get in touch with me? And. Um, we'll um, sort out a, t uh, a reading, just get some questions from you, that's all you need to do is to just contact me, let me know it's you and uh, I'll get some questions from you and record your reading for you and it will be posted up on the channel soon. Okay, so um, welcome to August everyone. Uh, July was a very interesting month, <laughs> as they all are at the moment. I hope you enjoy your reading, I'm going to get straight to it now. Thanks for watching, bye. Hello lovely Sagittarius and um, welcome to August. So this reading is um, going to be your August uh, reading which has the Sun in Leo and also your new moon eclipse, solar eclipse reading. So it's going to help you to know what to manifest as well as guide you through all of the um, energies that are around at the moment. So we've got the Sun in Leo, which for you is the ninth house. Um, let's just check, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. So that's gonna be about your beliefs, changing your beliefs. It's gonna be time for you to step into new beliefs, possibly um, a new way of looking at life, possibly a new life purpose, maybe something to do with teaching. There's also, um, you know, it's the sign of teaching. Um, you know, the house of teaching rather, teaching higher education in particular. So you're going to be thinking very much in terms of your philosophy, your ethos, that's where the energy is going to be for you. And your sign is all about that, so it's like a double whammy. You're going to be thinking, what do I believe in? What is really, you know, what's, what am I really kind of... Um, after here, what am I really, who am I, what do I stand for? You've come through that whole eighth house energy of looking at intimacy and your ability to let people in or not and, um, and who you are in that sense and now you're coming into, well then what does that mean about who I really am? Am I prepared to change these beliefs about myself? Am I uh, prepared to change beliefs that I have about how the world is or about how, what's possible for me? This is what's going to be really important. And what might tempt you back is overthinking it. Don't get into overthinking it. Don't get into a small vision. Don't get into any of those traps to do with, you know, having to keep it small, keep it um, close to the way it's always been. You're going to be asked to break out. You're going to have, you're going to be asked to break out and really expand your belief system when it comes to what's possible. 
So let's pull some cards and see exactly what does the universe have to say for Sagittarius? What does the universe have to say that will help to guide Sagittarius through this energy of Sun and Leo shining all over the ninth house? Ooh, just dropped a couple there and I am going to look at this. What does Sagittarius need to know about August? Ooh, gosh, it feels a bit clangy and clunky. I don't know, there's something that's not quite flowing for you and it's making me feel a bit anxious. Right, okay, we've got relaxation and support. You need to relax, you need to chill out a bit, Sag. You need to chill out, you need to trust that things are going to work out okay, that you are going to get your dream. There just seems to be, you see, to, to me, this card combination says there's a little bit of anxiety about how things are going to work out in terms of a dream or a goal or an idea, a big vision that you have because that ninth house is about vision. So, you know, trust that you will have support from the angels and from the universe. The universe is listening. The universe has heard don't you know wear yourself out with it right so let's do past present future and you see we only get anxious like that because we don't believe right this is what one of my guides has just said <laughs> demonstrating a lack of belief okay that anxiety is demonstrating a clear lack of belief go for a swim you know go for a, a run go go out with your friends go chill out and just say i know you've heard me i know it's covered okay now advice and outcome so past where have you been leading up to this okay so you've been working on vision you've been looking beneath the surface of things uh, you know the eighth house is also the detective work house you know that's scorpio so you've come out of that energy now and it looks as if you've been looking beneath the surface of things you might even have been you know with whether you let someone in or not or let people in or not you might have even been checking up on people like <laughs> this is a bit it's a bit stalkerish to be thinking about you've just come through the eighth house and you've got this card that says um, you know someone is not uh, revealing a part of the story trust your feelings about what others say so you're having to be very discerning at the moment this is what you've come through you've come through a period of having to really be discerning about what people around you are saying about what is possible about whether you've got the go-ahead with something is what I'm hearing and whether everyone's being fair everyone involved is being fair and I believe that this has actually helped you with your intuitive abilities a bit because you've had to really dig deep and um, I, I feel this is a bit of a theme for, for you in the past for a lot of your life and so and that has affected your belief system because you are the eternal optimist you come into life thinking that everything's going to work out great and everyone means the best and you know it's a little a bit like Virgo in the sense that Virgos expect everyone to have the same degree of integrity you always expect everyone to be as sort of uh, jovial and you know well-meaning and and um, you've had some hard lessons in that respect but at the same time you've become quite psychic as a result of all this discernment that you've had to do and I feel that this is bear with me just keep going with it because some of it just kind of flows out and the way that it's meant to and it will end up making sense so this does seem to tie into your belief system in some way and a part of your belief system is that you've lost some of your good judgment and this feels that its impact uh, has occurred over the last six months or so that you thought you had all these abilities or you thought you knew people or you thought something and you've actually been a little bit surprised by one or two situations or people and you're being asked to believe in the best again and to just have awareness that you can now know how to protect yourself okay again you've just come out of the eighth house but still, while still believing that the best is possible, believe that the best is possible of you and for you and understand that other people are kind of unpredictable, okay, in a lot of ways. Even, in, even if you accept that everyone outside of you is a reflection of what's inside you, it can still be very unpredictable because we don't know everything that's going on unpredictable. Uh, 
in the unconscious or what the frequencies, all of the frequencies are that we're putting out there to attract. So, you know, let yourself off the hook. You didn't get it wrong. It's all learning. It's a fantastic learning process. And now you know where you are. You know, you have a much clearer idea of where you're going and you, the angels have your back. It's going to be okay. You know, you have a few things that are coming in that feel as if they have a different flavour to them than what's gone before. So you are ripe for a breakthrough. These old letdowns are the result of old thinking and believing, okay? Trust that and do the work to break through in your belief system so that you can have the goodies now. So where are you right now? It's going to be interesting to see what the other cards are. Where you are right now, Goddess of Oneness. Someone you love is thinking fondly of you um, at the moment is what the message says. But what I feel with this is this is the oneness card that is really, oh my goodness, it's so fantastic for where you are at this time because you are learning that we are all connected or you, you already know this, but it's a reminder to you exactly what we just said about the vibration that you're giving out all these you know these branches that are going out here we don't all know what it is that we're connected to in our frequency and a part of your belief change is going to be about changing what you believe to be true about yourself so that your branches can be connecting to the right energies bear with me you literally need to have an upgrade now where you take yourself in hand and look, look yourself in the mirror and say what we, where it is that what we've done so far hasn't worked or there's been a limitation. I am letting that go now because I know myself to be boundless and infinite and a fantastic creator and manifester. So I need to manifest a change within me. That's what I need to manifest more than anything. So that's going to be your manifestation over the new moon. So you're going to ask yourself, what would it look like if I changed what I believed about myself and what's possible for me? What would it look like? What would my life look like? Where would I be? Who would I be there with? what great things would be happening and those are the things you need to visualize okay so i'm going to link my manifesting meditation if i remember and if i don't please go have a look and you know focus on that focus on changing and um also this oneness thing is about you and your ability to connect or to not connect to others, to open up completely. So there are beliefs there that you will want to let go of as well that will allow you to trust again. Okay, so, and moving into the future energy. Goddess of awakening, fantastic. Okay, so this is exactly what that's about. Um, this, uh, this is a wondrous time of... Um, Sorry, of ex expansion, romance, and creativity. I think that's what it says. Sorry, bear with me. I need to. This print just suddenly seems really small. Okay, so a wonderful time of expansion, romance, and or exploration, exploration, romance, and creativity. Okay, great. So it's going to be different. Is basically what it's saying. Things are going to be different. So open up to those things and. Um, you know, open up to the romantic possibilities around you, open up to the creative possibilities around you and see them all in this new set of beliefs about yourself. So the advice, God of the arts, the artist within you is about to emerge. Focus on your creativity, focus on what you love, focus on being creative. You know, you've got it twice here, creativity and exploration. That's what's going to change your belief about yourself um, because if you've neglected that in order to go after things that are seem like the practical, sensible option, this is why you're not manifesting um, what you really want at the moment. Yeah, we have to do both. We have to do what we have to do. Um, but make sure that you're not completely sacrificing your creativity. Remember, it's Leo. It's what lights you up in the heart. And sometimes it's the most obvious thing that you've just let go of. Get back to that and allow it to bring you back to that place of awakening and to release the beliefs that you have lurking in the background about yourself not being right in some way. Because when you're creative, you get that sense of rightness again. And uh, the outcome. 
goddess of psychic protection, and the message says, when you believe, sorry, what you believe you create, no one can harm you. So it's emphasizing, it's just reiterate, reiterating everything I just said about you being the creator, what you believe you create. It's what you believe that's, that's you know, attaching you to experiences that you're not finding pleasant. And that's sometimes a really tough thing to hear and sometimes a really hard thing to say because I know how involved and intricate and sometimes painful these learnings can be. However, if we accept responsibility for everything, it also gives us the power to change everything. That doesn't let people off the hook or make them right when they've um, hurt us. Um, you know, because sometimes that can be a, a great way of glossing over that and everyone, everyone's let off the hook because you attracted it. No, that's not what I'm saying. Those people will have to face their own karma. They will have to face what they've done. Um, sorry if this sounds melodramatic, but it's just the way it's coming out and I have to say it. But for you, um, you can change what you attract by what by changing what you believe about yourself and that doesn't mean life is always going to be perfect or always going to be ideal from this moment on what it does mean that you can also change your beliefs about what it means when things go wrong so that it doesn't impact you in the same way when something goes wrong it's not your fault it's not because you deserved it it's not because you've done something wrong you're simply going to have to upgrade and attach to a whole new strata of expectation I hope that makes sense and I hope that helps you. Have a fantastic August, Sag. You are on course for a, an evolution, okay? Take care. Speak to you soon. See you in September. Bye.